Hello friends. Today we will be learning about locust attacks. Parts of North India have been attacked by locust swarms. So let us first understand what are these locusts. A locust is a short horned grasshopper. They belong to the family of Acridae and the phylum of Arthropoda. Now this is how a locust looks like. Next we'll understand what is the nature of these locusts. Now usually they are solitary animals that is they live alone or in small groups and they do not cause any harm either to humans, animals or the vegetation. However, sometimes they turn into the gregarious phase. When does this happen? This happens when there is a drought followed by vegetation growth due to unseasonal rains. That time they have serotonin changes in their brains. Serotonin is a chemical that triggers a gregarious phase. Now let us see here. When they are in solitary phase, they behave independently. They are repelled from other locusts. They walk slowly with creeping movement. Their diet is restricted. They do not consume a lot of vegetation and they are active mostly at night. However, when they enter the gregarious phase, they move very rapidly and they behave as a cohesive unit, just like a mob. Their diet is broadened, they eat large quantity of food and they are active mostly during the day. So when they are in the gregarious phase, they breed abundantly and, became, and become migratory and they form swarms. Now each insect eats food which is equal to its own weight. Now though this seems a very small measure, but imagine when there are 40 to 80 million adults in a 1 square kilometer area, they can create immense damage to the entire standing crop. We should also understand that they cover a distance of 150 kilometers per day. Now, we should now understand where are they naturally found or what is their natural habitat. Now, these are found in a desert or semi-arid region and when these areas receive rainfall, egg laying occurs and the entire life cycle of this insect continues. Now let us understand where are the breeding areas or where do these insects reproduce and multiply. They mostly breed in the areas of the Horn of Africa, Yemen, Oman, Southern Iran, Pakistan's Baluchistan areas. Now this is the map. This is here you have the African Horn of Africa. Here you have Oman, Yemen. This is Iran, Pakistan and India. So do can we say that this locust swarm that we have we are experiencing in North India is because of climate change. We could say so because these regions which are mentioned here, they had the wettest rainfall season in four decades. So that led to proliferation of these locusts and these have further travelled towards India. Now within India, the Locust Warning Organization which works under the Agriculture Ministry is the nodal agency. However, in the world, the Food and Agricultural Organization acts as the nodal body. Now, when we have seen that they travel for 150 kilometers per day, how does that happen? Usually, they travel in the direction of the wind. So, air movement aids them. Strong westerly winds which come from the Mediterranean region passing through Iran, Pakistan and then Punjab, Rajasthan till the Bay of Bengal. These are the winds that aid the movement of these locusts and hence these locusts have covered the areas of Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, parts of Maharashtra, Gujarat, parts of Western UP 
and it is predicted that they can be seen as far as Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and West Bengal. However, after July, due to seasonal changes of wind, the direction of wind will change and these will return back to Rajasthan. Now we should understand that their breeding is possible only in the desert regions. So the breeding in India might occur only in the arid and the semi-arid regions of western Rajasthan. These cannot breed in the Gangetic Plains, the Godavari, Krishna or Mahanadi Plains. Now what is the risk due to these locusts now? We must understand that there is low risk now because there is no standing crop. The rabi crop has been harvested. How, hence these locusts are now attacking parks or orange orchards in Nagpur district of Maharashtra. The real risk would come during the Khari season whose sowing will start in June. Now this can lead to potential famine condition in our country if the locusts consume all the crop that will be produced in the Kharif season. However, in general they do not cause any harm to human beings or animals. Now let us look at what can be done to eradicate or prevent the destruction due to locusts. Now we should have continued monitoring, we should have aerial spraying of insecticides, one of them is Malathion. Now what has the government done? The government has ordered sprayers from the United Kingdom to aid our firefighters in the prevention of the destruction caused by these locusts. Now can this locust which is a threat now be turned into an opportunity? Yes, it can be done. One of the reasons is that it has high protein content per capita of its body weight and hence it can be used as food and delicacy which is also done in many of the parts of the world. It can be used as a fodder for cattle and feed for poultry. Now let us look at a question which can be used in our prelims. With reference to the recent locust attack, choose the correct answer. 1. They are the smallest vertebrates that cause harm to agriculture. Two. Locust Warning Organization under the Ministry of Forest, Environment and Climate Change monitors the locust situation in the country. 3. These can be used as food and fodder for animals. 4. These travel against the direction of wind in summers. Which of these is correct? So let us understand in the first option, these are the smallest vertebrates. So as we have already discussed, these are not vertebrates, these are invertebrates and belong to arthropoda phylum. So first option is wrong. In the second option we have seen that locust organiza warning organization works under the Ministry of Agriculture and not under the Ministry of Forest and Environment. So second option is wrong. These can be used as food and fodder for animals is right. And these do not travel against the direction of wind but in the direction of wind. So even this is wrong. So the right answer would be C. Okay friends, thank you so much for your time. Please like this video, comment below, share the video and subscribe to the channel.